we will uh, looking into that is introduction this of optimal meaning is being recorded we look into the introduction part of the optimum receiver then we spoke about integrator and dump receiver then match filter correlation filter okay so in today's session we will be talking about synchronization and then we have some types of uh, what you call synchronization that is symbol and frame synchronization and then we have some carrier recovery circuit okay how are you going to recover those carrier frequency signals okay so all this you can have a glance as i'm moving the slides we saw that the noise is introduced uh, at the channel when the transmitted signal is going to the receiver end yes and to remove that uh, white gaussian noise we are using a receiver circuit which consists of a signal demodulator and a detector and in the signal demodulation we are going to realize by using the signal correlators and by using the match filter okay and we even saw that the impulse response of the match filter is similar to that of a correlator yes so correlator circuit consists of a module uh, multiplier followed by a integrator yes integration circuit then in the optimum detector we saw that it is uh, basically an using an estimation theory where we are trying to minimize the probability of errors okay <laughs> One students just give me 3 minutes i'll be back I'll, i'm here only just give me 3 minutes ma'am i'm extremely sorry there is a, a some a, like a priority over here just 3 minutes okay okay ma'am
Yes, students, I'm back. I'm really sorry for uh, some kind of you know interruption between. Fine. We were talking about the signal demodulation, right? So in the signal demodulation, we are uh, trying to attenuate the noise or remove the noise. Attenuation means removing, okay, or uh, completely deleting it off. Okay. So the techniques which we are using to detect the noises. or your integrator and the dumb circuit and we saw that when switch 2 is on i mean it is closed then switch sorry switch 1 when it is closed this is going to be on and the vc voltage this capacitor is going to discharge so at every bit duration at the start point this switch is in on condition and this switch is in off condition and when the bit duration ends this switch is on and this switch is off that is how the messages signals are passed from this point to this point okay then we uh, saw the waveform yes okay the next we uh, saw even we learned that the sample values what we are sending out they are going to be sampled at an interval of time duration or time interval of capital t then we spoke about the optimum receiver yes uh, here the example given or the input signal which is going over here was a polar nrz type yes polar nrz polar, polar non return to zero type okay then as i told you a correlator receiver consists of a modulator yes a modulating circuit and a integrator circuit okay then talking about the match filter here we are uh, seeing that the optimum filter should reach or should yield a maximum ratio of the x square of t by sigma square okay so basically we want to say that the signal to noise ratio should be high and we consider the input noise is basically a white noise right so we had obtained the impulse response for a match filter with the help of uh, taking the fourier transform for the given input signal and then for the calculating it okay all right then here in the correlation realization of the match filter we saw or we tried to prove that the impulse response of a correlator and the match filter is similar at a given time interval okay at some point in the like during the analysis of the signal it happens that we are going to have a particular you know our optimum uh, value optimum filtered signal we will be getting it okay so we concluded that we are going to have some best sampling instant okay and only in that instant we can measure the signal and at that time when we measure the signal we say that the signal to noise ratio of your filter that is match filter as well as the correlator is going to be same fine right? now looking into the next part synchronization okay now when i say the word synchronization what clicks to your mind Visible and visible. Sorry, uh, are the slides visible? Please unmute. Yes, somebody is raising hand. Uh, Rishali, can you please help me? My screen is visible or no? students am i audible yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am screen dikh raha hai yes ma'am acha theek hai uh, abhi screen dikh raha hai to please mujhe bata do synchronization ki meaning kya hai multiple works happening at the same time okay then what else
अच्छा सेम टाइम यहाँ पे आप बोल रहे हो मल्टीपल वर्क इज इट ओनली मल्टीपल वर्क वी कैन इवन है सिंगल डेटा ओके कैन यू गिव मी वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिंक्रोनाइजेशन मुझे सर्किट रिलेटेड नहीं चाहिए डीसी डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन रिलेटेड नहीं चाहिए जो आप रियल लाइफ में करते हो उसका सिंक्रोनाइजेशन के एग्जाम्पल चाहिए एनी बडी क्विकली Yes. Disha, will you say? Ashwini. See, students, please tell me in the real time. Give one example of synchronization. We know synchronization means something related to time. But where are we using this synchronization in our life? daily we are using doing it we are daily we are synchronizing give me two or three examples with that i can understand ke chalo bhai synchronization ka concept aapko clear hai then i can proceed further you speak up even if the answer is wrong not correct i don't have any issues snehal yes please give the answer students Uh, what has happened today? Yesterday you were very active, hmm? so today, as it is holiday, you are having that impact or what? Hmm? No, no, ma'am. They are active. They are thinking. Respond properly. Con se Let it be wrong, ma'am. Ko best example. वो सोच रहे हैं कि मैम को हम best example देंगे. Okay. 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 Arjun. ऐश्वर्या ओके ठीक है चलो फाइन अब रियल टाइम में लाइफ एग्जांपल अगर क्लॉक क्लॉक से ही रिलेटेड ले लो व्हाट यू डू व्हेन यू आर जॉइनिंग टू द कॉलेज फर्स्ट टाइम ओके इट वाज ड्यूरिंग योर फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर व्हेन यू एंटर द कॉलेज एंड इमीडिएटली लाइक आई यूजुअली डू व्हिच एवर न्यू प्लेस आई गो आई हैव टू स्टे देयर फॉर लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आई सिंक टू माय क्लॉक विद दैट टाइमिंग क्लॉक आई मीन विद द कॉलेज क्लॉक ओके सो समथिंग दैट इज कॉल्ड एज both the uh, you know me entering i am the input there okay and or you can simply say the college timing is the output over there sorry not the output the college timing is input for me and i am the output because i am uh, so resourcing the college right so what i do i uh, what is match my timings with the college timings yes or no that is again synchronization means every second every minute and every hour i am trying to synchronize so here also what happens when we are talking about digital signal processing or what you call sorry digital signal uh, communication we need to synchronize why whatever input signals we are transferring they are coming across some noise and because of which there will be some kind of distortion or jitter you can say and because of that distortion or because of that jitter there will be either delay in the signal or it will be what do you call your um, overlapping of the signal or there will be some kind of glitches or you may see that the uh, you know um, information may reach early okay so that is also again a issue for us see now when i am talking to you okay the way i am talking to you immediately you are receiving it but if we look very deeply we are having some kind of uh, you know delay some kind of delay in that we are unable to identify but we have reached to this maximum level and i remember in the year 1994 somewhere around like that okay there was uh, telephone line yes we used to have cables we didn't had wireless uh, you know uh, facility then uh, slowly came up the modem where we had uh, wireless and we could talk only within the area of the home yes uh, taking the uh, like wireless mod uh, the mod and then roaming here and there in the home and talking that was there i remember as a child uh, like my parents had been out of country for some work and we were here uh, i still remember that when they called i was able to hear the voice after some period of time there was a delay in the signal now what was the reason for that because 
the input signal and the receive signal was not being synchronized though we were able to receive it but it was not being synchronized at the same time okay so they we but the information was being received properly okay why because we were strengthening the signal over there delay we could manage but we didn't wanted to have loss of data and now also you can see sometimes when you are on a you know google dua call or you are on a whatsapp call or something like that whatsapp call to be easily like just a normal phone call pe baat karte hain uski tarike se like hamara baat hota hai matlab aap main jab aapko bol rahi hu to same time aap use sun bhi sak rahe ho aise nahi hai ki aapko thoda delay ho raha hai wahan pe right why because the input message signals are synchronized at the receiver end means the moment i speak the same moment you are receiving it so that is called as something synchronization okay so now going to starting that part a bit in detail we will see uh, my screen is visible students yes ma'am okay. yeah fine so here we see that at the receiver end the bit and the carrier synchronization should be there okay why because we need to recover the original digital data signal now bit when i say i'm talking about my messages one bit two bit okay what how many message bits are there then carrier means what now see uh, i am sending some pulses of train sorry tra some train of pulses or some messages so this information has to be carried to other end right so we will be providing some kind of force or some kind of energy and that some kind of force or that kind of energy is called as carrier signal okay jo hamara message signal ko leke jata hai वो हमारा कैरियर सिग्नल है तो कैरियर सिग्नल के पास ना बहुत ज्यादा स्ट्रेंथ होनी चाहिए ओके सो रिसीवर एंड में भी क्या होना चाहिए इन द रिसीवर एंड वी सी दैट व्हेन द कैरियर आई मीन द कैरियर सिग्नल एंड द बिट हैज टू बी सिंक्रोनाइज विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इनपुट ओके विद रिस्पेक्ट टू इनपुट द रिसीवर हैज टू बी सिंक्रोनाइज इन टर्म्स ऑफ बिट एंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ carrier okay then what is happening when the signals are traveling from the transmitter to receiver over a communication channel we see that the channel okay the sentence is wrong due to imperfection of the channel the digital pulses tend to spread out okay now tending to spread out means i have my digital pulse 1011 right so 1011 means i may even have a zero associated with or with it or i may have one one associated with it or in case uh, if i talk about uh, band limited uh, uh, signal band limited signal mm -hmm. means main ek band deti hu ek upper uh, ek limit deti hu mera signal hai na itni hi bandwidth ye w bandwidth ke beech mein hi transmit hona chahiye number of bits agar usse zyada hota hai to main usse kya kehti hu band is expanding okay so sometimes to overcome you know these issues that is uh, the digital pulses spreading out that uh, you know uh, what you call that glitch or that imperfection of that channel is called as inter symbol interference i'll be explaining you that what is inter symbol interference isi uh, don't don't take it that isi in terms of security of india okay it is inter symbol interference uh, so what happens here we are increasing the bandwidth okay we are increasing the bandwidth uh, such that whatever uh, the bits are being carried out that can be uh, you know uh, run into that particular bandwidth okay the expanded bandwidth so that we overcome uh, the isi uh, problem uh, or else uh, you can even have some kind of equalizer okay so to overcome the issue of isi you may have the expansion of the bandwidth that is called as a spectrum technology Uh, spread spread spectrum technology you can say or technique or method you can say and another one is the equalizer part okay so now uh, to understand what is this isi i have taken one diagram okay this diagram is actually a block diagram of a digital pulse amplitude modulation system okay now when we are giving some input data it is transmitting through certain kind of filter okay here all i am representing in the frequency domain all right so let that transmitting filter have a what do you call information as gt of f okay 
and from the transmitting filter the input signal this is the transmitting signal so we get v of t and this v of t is passing through the channel p of f and what is happening here the output of v of t and p of t i mean uh, the convolution or the multiplication of v of t this channel is what Uh, sorry, this channel is what nothing but a uh, what we we call your carrier frequency channel. Okay, we are sending our input signal through a carrier frequency channel so that we get the transmitted signal. This is our transmitted signal. This information is being transmitted. Okay, so up यहाँ तक क्या है आपका transmitter का part है. Okay, अभी h of t क्या है? H of t is a combination of your v of t and c of t okay or v of f into c of f also you can take then we know that at the channel some kind of noise is being added okay so receiver is receiving what instead of taking h of t last class i had taken s of m yes so receiver will see that it is having a input signal plus it is going to have a noise okay all right so here we are getting this particular function then this goes to the receiving filter where we are trying to you know remove this noise okay trying to remove this noise so later we will get the expression as y of t okay we are trying to remove the noise but when we are trying to remove the noise we are sampling our signal at a time interval capital t so we are using a sampler circuit okay so y of t is given to it and we get the expression as y of k of capital t but here we have a symbol timing estimator now what is the symbol timing estimator in the beginning i told you here we need to have a synchronization circuit with respect to bit and with respect to carrier right so that part is being done by this symbol estimate uh, symbol timing estimator so say for example if it detects or identifies some kind of uh, you know delay then that is going to be represented here and what happens because of that delay we can simply say some kind of extra noise is also added here okay means noise matlab abhi yahan pe kaise hai signals ka uh, problem hota hai jaise ki zero Uh, कभी जीरो वन आना चाहिए सीक्वेंस में लेकिन वो जीरो जीरो आ गया है फाइन और यू कैन सिंपली से द ड्यूरेशन द बिट ड्यूरेशन टी इट हैज टू ट्रैवल इन टी बट इट इज ट्रैवलिंग इन टी बाई टू और थ्री बाई फोर ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट सिचुएशन वी सी दैट देर इज वॉट यू कॉल सिम्बॉल्स आर इंटरफियरिंग विथ ईच अदर ओके मेरे वन का टाइम ड्यूरेशन कितना था my one time duration was t okay my zero time duration was actually t but what happened because of some reason it traveled only for t by 2 it is not completing the remaining part okay then what happens the next bit is again zero then that next bit has to travel for t and what happens instead of like leaving the t by 2 it will take t here तो so, अब इसका है ना यहाँ पे जीरो को ट्रैवल होना था टी पे लेकिन वो ट्रैवल हुआ टी बाई टू पे तो हाफ वाला पार्ट है ना ओवरलैप हो गया नेक्स्ट वाली इंफॉर्मेशन से ओके नेक्स्ट वाली इंफॉर्मेशन से ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट व्हाट हैपन द सिंबल्स आर ओवरलैपिंग नाउ नाउ दिस जीरो एंड दिस जीरो दिस विल गेट ओवरलैप डियर ओके so we need to detect that and we need to remove it so this overlapping part is called as what it is called as inter symbol interference and that is being again detected by the detector and you have the output here okay Fine. That explanation uh, is given here. I'll be giving it.
I'll write there. So I was talking about the expression, right? So now see here, uh, the sampled output. See, I'm directly talking about the output over here, the sampled output, okay? The sampled output here, y k of t, okay? This part I'm speaking. So we see that the sampled output, y m of t, we have m sample, we can say, is given as summation of a n x m t minus n t plus omega m t. So this is the noise added up when it is passing through the channel plus the noise uh, like which is being introduced by the uh, this thing your uh, sampler circuit okay because of the delay in the signal so when we simplify this further we will get it get the value or get the expression as this one and on expanding this expression on expanding this expression i get the value as x not into am plus summation of n is equal to n is not equal to m then an x m minus n plus omega m so basically here what i want to show by taking this expression or taking the signal sorry block diagram of uh, pulse amplitude modulation is that how the isi is getting added up at the output okay so here in the first term of the equation six so this particular term is the desired symbol okay because it is having some kind of amplitude okay amplitude uh, of the a message signal okay and it is having a scaling factor x not we can uh, like it is having some kind of scaling factor here refers to we may have uh, some adjusting values we can get into that and this remaining portion what you are seeing here isi okay this is nothing but the effect of other symbol at the sampling time instant t equal to mt okay here i had given you the example right Uh, say one zero zero has to be passed, and zero is traveling only for t by two, and the next bit zero is taking up the uh, duration that remaining left t by two with its with itself. So we'll say this zero and another zero has overlapped for that time interval. Okay, so that portion is called as inter symbol interference. I hope till here it is clear. Okay, now coming to the coherent and non-coherent detection. This is also very important. why we are using synchronization we should know this part okay see for example if you are using a coherent detector we should know the frequency and phase of the carrier signal at what frequency the carrier signal is going and what is its phase okay because in our bpsk kps uh, sorry uh, ask and all these things we are uh, even uh, sorry tsk we are looking into the phase shifts right so i will be telling you about coherent uh, let me finish this part so here the estimation of the carrier frequency and the phase at the receiver is called as carrier recovery or carrier synchronization so these are just one mark definition uh, questions like what is carrier recovery or carrier synchronization it means what you are estimating the carrier frequency and the phase at the receiver end so that is called as carrier recovery okay receiver recovery with that you can remember the definition then here when we are going for the carrier recovery or carrier synchronization we should know the time instances at what intervals the signal has traveled okay abhi kaise hota hai dekho like aapko pahunchna hai railway station okay aur aapke mummy ko bhi jana hai railway station but aap kisi kaam se college gaye ho all right एंड आपके मम्मी घर से निकल रही हैं और फोन की है कि बेटा मैं घर से निकली हूँ रेलवे स्टेशन के लिए अब मम्मी और रेलवे स्टेशन मतलब आपका घर और रेलवे स्टेशन का ड्यूरेशन होता है थर्टी मिनट लेकिन आपका कॉलेज का और आपका रेलवे स्टेशन का ड्यूरेशन होता है फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ओके सो इफ यू नो दैट यूर मदर आज लेफ्ट एट नाइन थर्टी इट मीन्स दैट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू मीट योर मदर एट टेन ओ क्लॉक वट टाइम विल यू लीव यू विल लीव एट नाइन फोर्टी फाइव right because you know she will cover the distance in 30 minutes and you will cover the distance in uh, 15 minutes right so this time instance you should know the beginning like at the input you should know if you know the input time then you can reach at the output point yes so that you will reach at the at that what instance you will reach both of you will reach at 10 o'clock only okay so 
here also in the modulation you should know that sorry in the modulation of any kind of signal you should know that at what time instant uh, i mean what you call changes are taking place so that when you are going with the recovery or uh, synchronization wahi time pe aap usko recover kar pao okay and how this uh, time instances are noted down or how do we calculate that the time instances actually can be estimated by using clock recovery or symbol synchronization method okay so you will have a definition again like what is clock recovery or symbol synchronization in that time you can say the time instance should be known during the modulation changes and we can estimate it by using the clock recovery methods and what is carrier synchronization here we should know the estimation of the carrier frequency and the phase at the receiver end okay now you uh, this just i have put a slide to know the various digital modulation techniques right so this is your digital message 1010 okay which is also called as baseband signal or uh, message signal m of t or you can say si of t or you can say uh, what you call sm of t anything you can say for this okay now for this you are going to use a analog carrier signal yes we need some force to push no to carry the message or to carry the information yes so it is having a fixed frequency yes and at every uh, like clock period sorry not clock period ha huh, at every clock period it is going to have same frequencies the frequencies are not changing the phase is also not changing the amplitude is also remaining the same there is no change in the signal so carrier frequency mein uh, sorry carrier signal mein uska amplitude uska frequency aur uska phase nahi change hota hai sab cheez hame maintain karna hota hai kyun kyunki it's like your you uh, like it, it is the energy you know booster for us because of this this information is pushed to the receiver okay now in the amplitude shifting what we are doing we are concentrating at the amplitude levels right if the message signal is one then only there is a passage of signal and what will happen to the amplitude shifting signal it will have the frequency and the amplitude and the phase of what here phase and frequencies are constant we say right but what is happening to the amplitude when it is one it is having the amplitude same as that of the carrier frequency but when the information is zero then at that time the amplitude is changing to lesser value it may ne need not necessarily be completely zero it may have the lesser amplitude value but look at the frequencies the frequencies are remaining same look at the phases here and at this end and at this end and this end the frequencies uh, sorry phases are also remaining the same right only the amplitude is changing that is why we call it as amplitude shifting now talking about frequency shifting in this frequency shifting the amplitude remains the same the phases remains the same but the frequencies are changing so when one message uh, i mean in the my message i have one binary one then the frequency is high if i in my message if i have zero then my frequency is my frequency is what low frequency so here in the frequency shifting i will come across two different frequencies that is f1 and f2 okay and based on these frequencies again i have to look into the dimensions that is basis function phi1 and phi2 well uh, maybe that you have studied then again you can see observe here then talking about the phases see look at the phases here in the phase shifting the message signal changes the carrier's phase okay see when one is passed you can see you are having a zero phase shift here yes it is starting from the zero and you are ending to the 180 okay then when it is zero the phase is shifting whose phase is shifting carrier phase is shifting see here it is positive right here it is at this particular phase but here the phase is changing to this part it is coming down yes okay so similarly here you can observe at this point yes at this point you can see this complete part 
right so this is all about like uh, what information we have to carry and all so abhi ye kya hai ye information hame same receiver mein dena hai so we need some detectors okay so we have two types of detector that is coherent and non coherent detector oh ma'am this slide is blank okay fine now what it actually means coherent detection and non coherent detection it says that the receiver the receiver should have same information as the top transmitter so means to say that dania i'm slightly busy i'll send him here i'm in the vlsl lab okay uh, so here you see i'll give you an example to understand coherent detection first we'll understand this coherent detection this is very important okay i think you have studied coherent detection or no students please respond anyone unmute and say excuse me ma'am ha ah, yes madam Hmm. Okay. Students, I'm asking, are you aware about coherent detection? Hmm. Ah, uh, students, please respond for the question. What are madam is asking? They have seen coherent detection part, madam. They have seen, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes, means okay. they are familiar with that concept. Yeah, yeah. Ah, yes, Fun. coherent detection. Please respond, students. don't put message in the chat box you can unmute yourself and you can give the answer yes give response give yes, answers ha huh. answer sanga ashwini please yes ma'am uh, first stage uh, is uh, adding uh, synchronous carrier signal okay then uh, its output is given to integrator okay and uh, that uh, output of integrator is sampled and uh, a uh, sampled value is uh, held for du bit duration okay um theek hai fine uh okay uh, no problem uh, we'll have one more explanation here all right so say for example here is your message signal okay the message signal is m of t okay this message signal is given to the i mean is passing through your transmitter okay and to the transmitter or uh, say for example this message signal has to be transmitted to the antenna here okay it is having a carrier signal here okay so now we set this carrier signal with certain frequency say let the uh, frequency of the carrier signal be fc1 okay and it is having a phase of 5c1 this is happening at the receive uh, sorry transmitter end this is happening at the transmitter end now the same signal when it comes over here okay let this signal be s of t now this s of t has to be you know uh, say for example it is a wire linked or non wire linked whatever it is Now, अभी हमारे पास इधर एक एंटेने हैं, ठीक है तो ये एस ऑफ टी यहाँ आ गया इसके साथ नॉइज भी आने दो वी आर नॉट कंसर्न अबाउट नॉइज यस ओके जस्ट टू शो वॉट इज कोहरेंट एंड नॉन कोहरेंट ओके सो एस ऑफ टी प्लस नॉइज अब ये रिसीव होगा अपने रिसीवर में ओके okay? अपने रिसीवर में तो so, यहाँ पे क्या होगा यहाँ पे भी एक ऑफिलेटर रहेगा Yes. Here also we have a carrier, uh, receiver carrier frequency will be there. Yes. 
and let that receiver carry a frequency b p of t okay and here output we are getting is uh, somewhere like uh, n m of t we can say matlab noise ke sath humko message mil raha hai hum aise karke likhenge just okay we have various notations now in the coherent detection what happens is whatever is the input frequency of the carrier okay sorry um, frequency of the carrier and the phase carrier frequency and the phase of the carrier whatever information uh, value is there at the transmitter the same we should have at the receiver so iska matlab kya hai c of t iska jo hai uska bhi hame kya maintain karna padega same as that of the transmitter what frequency as well as the phase of the carrier should be same of that of the receiver sorry transmitter carrier and the receiver carrier okay tab jaake hum bolenge ki coherent detection hai okay so hum carrier frequency or phase jo hamare idhar enter ho raha hai uska agar hum maintain karenge to kya hoga accuracy zyada aayegi theek hai advantage will be we'll having a high accuracy but what will be the disadvantage the disadvantage is only the cost will increase why the cost will increase because we need to see what kind of oscillator circuit is present over here the same kind of oscillator circuit i need to maintain here also okay the local oscillator which is used to send the carrier frequency or to like input, uh, get in with the carrier frequency we need to maintain that but because of its accuracy we compromise with the cost now when i talk about you know non coherent detection what happens here in the non coherent detection now i have my transmitter circuit but now I, uh, now coming towards the receiver circuit transmitter circuit is the same it is giving some carrier input signal with uh, some frequency carrier frequency fc1 and 5c1 but what is happening here at the rx the receiver carrier frequency is not same as that of your transmitter we don't have to worry so that is why we call it as a non coherent detection matlab ये कोहरन में क्या है सिंक्रोनाइजेशन है किसकी किसको सिंक कर रहे हैं हम लोग ट्रांसमीटर का कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी सिंक कर रहे हैं ओके और रिसीवर का कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी सॉरी रिसीवर का कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी हम सिंक कर रहे हैं सो दैट इज वाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज कोहरेंट डिटेक्शन बट इन नॉन कोहरेंट डिटेक्शन वी डोंट हैव टू वरी इसका रिसीवर का कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी हम कुछ भी रख सकते हैं हमारे हिसाब से या फिर आपको जो भी चाहिए हम उसके हिसाब से रख सकते हैं एंड वी आर नॉट हैविंग अ इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट द ट्रांसमीटर्स कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी इन रेस्पेक्टिव ऑफ द ट्रांसमीटर्स कैरियर फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड द फेज ऑफ द कैरियर सिग्नल ऑफ द ट्रांसमीटर वी आर रिट्राइविंग द सिग्नल एट द रिसीवर एंड ओके बाई डूइंग दिस वॉट विल हैपन वॉट विल हैपन टू द एक्यूरेसी इट विल इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज students please answer decrease ma'am yes it will decrease and what is going to have uh, like what is going to happen to the cost ab koi bhi system banane ke liye paise less compared to coherent cost will less cost will be less why because we are not having the demand of the local oscillator cost. yes we are we will not have the demand of the local oscillator okay as at the receiver in the transmitter end okay now so abhi yahan tak ye concept clear hai so ye coherent detection jab hum use karte hain to humko synchronization karna bahut zaruri hai okay and non coherent detection mein synchronization ki zarurat nahi hai okay we respect of that now simple synchronization can be achieved in several ways there are many methods so two i have mentioned here which is given for you actually not given uh, that is not discussed in detail but some like i want you to know this information because if you understand this basic part rest of the uh, part it will be easy for you okay now you see that first method is the transmitter and the receiver are sync okay are synchronized to a master clock means master clock means it is having a precise timing abhi dekho uh, ab hum college ka le rahe hain to college kya hua yahan pe मास्टर क्लॉक पकड़ लो कॉलेज को 
ठीक है और ट्रांसमीटर हुआ हम टीचर्स और रिसीवर हुए बच्चे तो मैं अपना क्लॉक किससे सेट करूंगी कॉलेज के क्लॉक से और बच्चे किस आ, अपना क्लॉक किससे सेट करेंगे मेरे क्लॉक से राइट वी आर हैविंग अ प्रिसाइज टाइमिंग राइट वी आर रेफरिंग टू सम मास्टर क्लॉक एंड गेटिंग इनटू द सिंक्रोनाइजेशन सो दैट वी डोंट मिस द क्लास आई मीन वी डोंट बी लेट टू द क्लास ओके दैट इज इट वन सिंपल एग्जांपल हैव गिवन आई होप दिस विल रियल टाइम लाइफ कोर लाइफ लाइफ एग्जांपल्स विल हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड इट ओके सो व्हाट एक्चुअली इट डज टेक्निकली द रिसीवर एस्टीमेट्स एंड कंपेंसेट्स फॉर रिलेटिव टाइम डिले between the time uh, transmitted signal and the receiver signal so when we are saying precising the timing here means the receiver will estimate and compensate for the time delay between the transmitter signal and the receiver signal this is one method another method is the transmitter simultaneously transmits clock frequency 1 by t or ma multiple many uh, fre clock frequencies 1 by t along with the information of the signal मतलब जब सिग्नल uh, जा रहा है ट्रांसमीटर से तो वो सेम क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी रिसीवर में भी सेंड कर देता है तो रिसीवर क्या करता है उसको मतलब एनालाइज करने के लिए इट विल एम्प्लॉय अ नैरो बैंड फिल्टर सो दैट इट कैन ट्यून टू द ट्रांसमीटर क्लॉक फ्रीक्वेंसी मतलब रिसीवर अपने आप को एडजस्ट कर, कर लेता है ओके okay? और वो कैसे एडजस्ट करता है वो कैसे एडजस्ट करता है वो पावर और बैंडविड है ना असाइन करता है अपने आप को वो अपनी बैंडविड बढ़ाएगा छोटा करेगा आई I मीन mean, uh, जो भी है वो एडजस्टमेंट कर लेगा ओके सो दैट यू नो दिस एलोकेशन इज रेड्यूज प्रोपोर्शनली बाय द नंबर ऑफ यूजर्स सो व्हाट विल हैपन हियर फॉर एवरी मैसेज सिग्नल डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नंबर ऑफ यूजर्स दिस बैंडविड एंड पावर इज एलोकेटेड इन द रिसीवर सर्किट so that whatever information is being transmitted is received at the receiver end at the same time okay we are maintaining the clock frequency either 1 by t or one, multiple 1 by t depending on the number of users okay so this is again another method now we are talking about the synchronization type okay now here synchronization is basically a technique to make the clock at the transmitter and receiver to operate at the same rate okay that is called as symbol synchronization or simply synchronization okay the synchronization types are as follows you are having symbol synchronization method frame synchronization method carrier synchronization method now let us look into each method okay so now just uh, see here you are seeing a binary receiver which is having a bit and frame synchronizer okay binary receiver means what it is going to receive the value of 1 and 0 okay and it can be a bpsk or it can be an fsk or anything all right so now you observe this block diagram the i mean uh, bit synchronization and frame synchronizer use the same block diagram see here the bit synchronizer is there right this bit synchronize will extract synchronization from the received signal itself see we have a low pass filter here we are attaining the noise before entering uh, before uh, like uh, sending this receiver signal to the regenerator so what is bit synchronizer doing here whatever received signal is there it is extracting the information okay and what is the frame synchronizer doing here it uses the output message so whatever is regenerated it is using that output message okay of the regenerator and the clock how are we getting this output message this output message we are getting when we combine the clock signal with the regenerator signal okay so that we can obtain a frame frame means frame will come in picture with respect to your what when there is a clock okay so received signal will have first bit synchronization and it is transmitting to certain clock okay and this received signal is again acting as an input to the regenerator okay it is 
regenerating means recovering back the signal with respect to the clock signal okay and that to signal i mean from that what op- output we get that is being framed okay we are going to frame it in terms of pulses at a given time interval okay so that is called as frame indicator or simply you can say bit sync extract synchronized value from the received signal itself and frame signal uses output message of the regenerator and the clock to recover the framing information okay now i have put here a zero crossing detector circuit मैम अब ये डिजिटल आप एनालॉग मत पढ़ाइए ऐसे मत बोलो ये जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर हमने आई थिंक पढ़ा है आपके एनालॉग सर्किट्स में ओके सो नो आई जस्ट वांटेड टू इंट्रोड्यूस वन सेकंड दिस टॉपिक बिकॉज़ इन द क्लोज्ड लूप बिट सिंथेसाइजेशन वी आर यूजिंग अ जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर ओके नाउ व्हाट इज अ जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर ओके सो बेसिकली इट इज अ वोल्टेज कंपैरेटर हुज आउटपुट चेंजेस व्हेन द इनपुट सिग्नल क्रॉसेस द जीरो ऑफ द reference voltage okay now see here you have an op, op amp circuit you have for in, sorry non inverting and the inverting inputs right so here you can see that the detector circuit changes the comparator's output so here this is your uh, what you call comparator circuit uh, using an op amp it stay output state when the analog input crosses the zero reference voltage so you have certain reference voltage which is being crossed okay and how it is done it is done by setting the comparator inverting input to zero reference voltage so inverting means this reference voltage is set to this reference voltage is set to zero reference voltage okay and applying the attenuated input to the non inverting input fine so here we are setting one reference value as zero and another reference value as what input voltage okay this is it fine so this this operation happens here and we are using the voltage control clock now let us understand this block diagram a closed loop okay closed loop means what you are seeing here this is a closed loop okay this portion is the closed loop fine right? the output of the vcc is again given back as a uh, what you call your carrier frequency to the zero cross detector output okay so let us understand now the received signal is given as y of t and this y of t is applied to the zero crossing detector and it is generating an output z of t means we are inverting the signal values over here okay with reference to the zero voltage then what will happen the zero cross detector will produce okay it will produce some positive pulses what is z of t going to do the z of t is going to produce some positive pulses okay positive pulse fine and what will be the duration the duration will be tb by 2 it will not be for the complete bit duration bit complete bit duration is tb but the z of t will produce for the bit duration tb by 2 corresponding to every zero crossing instance of the received signal y of t means for every value अभी रिसीवर में वन जीरो वन वन आया समझो अब इसका टी है तो जीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर से पास होगा तो वो पल्स जनरेट करेगा लेकिन वो पल्स कितने वैल्यू का रहेगा कितना टाइम इंटरवल का रहेगा टी बी बाई टू का रहेगा ओके ये भी टी बी बाई टू का हो जाएगा ये भी टी बी बाई टू का हो जाएगा ओके देन वॉट इज गोइंग टू है देन दिस आउटपुट ऑफ दीरो क्रॉसिंग डिटेक्टर इज मल्टीप्लाइड विद द सी ऑफ टी ओके now what is the c of t it is nothing but a square wave clock okay and from where this square wave clock is coming the square wave clock is coming from a vcc that is voltage control clock okay then when we multiply this 
we are getting some kind of output we are integrating the circuit again we are filtering it by using a low pass filter yes and then we obtain the output as v of t yes so v of t is nothing but the product of z of t and c of t v of t is the product of z of t and c of t do you agree and that is given to voltage control clock now what happens here the loop reaches to its steady state abhi ek state mein aake rukna chahiye na ye loop nahi to agar kya bolte hai aapka infinite loop raha to process aise hi chalta rahega bit fir kaise transfer honge correct so this loop has to come to a steady state condition when the edges of c of t and z of t are going to synchronize okay and offset by tv by 4 because the product of c of t and z of t will have a zero area means this information should turn to zero area okay and v of t should remain constant at uh, that point just one minute madam uh, yes yes रोल नंबर सेवेंटी फाइव Okay, you can continue, madam. Sorry for. I think he's busy there with his friends. Okay, fine. So this is the block diagram of a closed loop synchronizer. Okay, we are going to have the waveform of it. With that, also you can easily understand. So in the real time, when we are doing this, this integrator and the low pass filter, what we have. okay or the analog multiplier what we are saying it is replaced by equivalent digital components so whatever digital components or digital circuits are there we are going to replace that with it okay so this is the waveform we have here all right so this is your y of t signal okay the received input signal and the z of t is having a pulse but the bit duration is t by 2 all right and then the carrier signal or c of t what we have which is produced from vcc is having a information of this particular type okay so this is one part hmm? then when we multiply or when we have the product of z of t and c of t we see this particular value see this two has given this particular information and here we are going to have the this part and this part okay combining these two we get a negative pulse one clock cycle okay because it is voltage controlled clock we are inverting it we are inverting this valve okay and getting the information done here okay similarly here when we analyze this part this negative and this negative value you will have the zero part okay all right so finally the v of t what you get will be of this particular manner uh, so this is the bipolar uh, you know rz signal type they are considering here okay then disadvantages what is the disadvantages the circuit is suffering the timing jitter okay if zero crossing of the y of t are not placed at integer multiples of tv means if it is not particularly placed with the uh, like values of integer multiples it should not be in 0.5 0.6 0.7 okay it should have a specific time interval else the circuit will suffer distortion okay 
then apart from that another disadvantage is that if the synchronization is i mean synchronization is lost if the message y of t includes long strings of ones and zeros okay because of which the y of t will not have zero crossing frequent means it will not detect the zero crossing frequently say for example if my message signal con consists of continuously long strings of 1 1 1 1 1 1 or 0 0 0 0 0 okay say for example now when i'm talking and i paused for somewhere around more than 30 seconds we feel that the message signal is lost so we check whether i am uh, there in the classroom or no first right so that uh, thing happens over here also if we have long sequence of zeros or long sequence of ones uh, the zero crossing detection will not be happening frequently so because of which the information is tending to lose okay so this is about your closed loop bit synchronized now let us talk about early synchronized okay early and late synchronized okay now this early and late synchronizer we see that this is actually uh, whatever signal is there it has to have a particular zero crossing detection but in this early late synchronizer we see that we make the system in such a way that it is independent of the detection itself nahi baba nahi chahiye humko ye detection humko zero crossing frequency detection uh, frequently nahi chahiye kyunki kabhi kabhi kya hota hai main connected rehti hu lekin mujhe pata chalta hai ki main disconnect matlab mujhe lagta hai ki main disconnect hu aapko lagta hai ki aap aap log disconnect hai क्योंकि जब मैं आपको पूछ रही हूँ भैया जवाब दो क्या हो रहा है मतलब आर यू एबल टू हियर मी मैंने आज तो क्वेश्चन नहीं नॉट रिप्लाइंग फॉर अ लॉन्गर पीरियड ऑफ टाइम तो पहले क्या होता है मैं अपना कनेक्शन चेक करती हूँ ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ विच वट एम ट्राइंग टू डू ट्राइंग टू सी दैट यू ऑल आर एक्टिव और नो इफ यू पीपल डोंट रेस्पॉन्ड देन इन दैट केस आई हैव टू लुक इन टू माई कनेक्शन बिकॉज मैं तो कनेक्ट मैं कनेक्शन देखती हूँ मैं कनेक्टेड हूँ फिर भी उधर से आवाज नहीं आ रहा है राइट right? तो ये क्या हो गया ये लॉन्ग स्ट्रिंग ऑफ वन हो गए जहां पे इंफॉर्मेशन पास हो रहा है बट आपके यहाँ से इंफॉर्मेशन नहीं आ रही है राइट तो इन दैट केस आई विल थिंक स्टूडेंट आर नॉट देर और देर इज डिस्कनेक्टिविटी इन द सिस्टम राइट सो आई डोंट वॉन्ट दैट काइंड ऑफ यू नो प्रॉब्लम सो टू ओवरकम टू दैट ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम वट वी सर चलो भाई जीरो क्रॉसिंग का वो वोल्टेज का हम प्रॉब्लम ही निकाल देते हैं तो उसको इंट्रोड्यूस करने के मतलब उसको निकालने के लिए हमने नया मेथड यूज किया वो क्या है अर्ली लेट सिंक्रोनाइजर वो पहले अर्ली तो आने दो या फिर लेट तो आने दो फिर भी हम मैसेज सिग्नल को सिंक्रोनाइज करेंगे फिर भी हम इंफॉर्मेशन को सिंक्रोनाइज करेंगे ठीक है अब ये इंफॉर्मेशन को सिंक्रोनाइजेशन कैसे किया हमने इसमें एक इम्पल्स रेस्पॉन्स वाला सिग्नल है मैं आपको ड्रॉ करके बताती हूँ okay, एक मैच फिल्टर का इंफॉर्मेशन है लेट इज डू दैट हियर दिस कॉर्नर इज विजिबल टू यू ऑल ओके यस थैंक यू सो दिस इज माय टाइम ड्यूरेशन ओके एंड I have the response of a match filter. ये triangle आना चाहिए Line थोड़ी late खींची गई है क्रुपेट खींची गई है Don't mind for that. So this point I have one duration. This point I have another duration, and this point I have another duration. Okay. So here, this is actually my sample. Okay, and it is a match filter output. So here, just I want to show the early sample and the late sample. For what do we call it early sample, and for what do we call as a late sample? Okay. So this part is called as a late sample. In my message signal, me hi hai ye. Lekin fir bhi kya hai ye late aa raha hai. Ye late kyun aa raha hai? Me bolti hu. Ye na late aate hai. Liye late join karne wale bache hai. Okay. Or ye hai na optimum hai. Optimum matlab best. On time, or in time, we can say optimum sample. Okay. Now, ये वाला जो है ना, ये early वाला है. अब कुछ students होते हैं, 
ठीक है जो पहले ही क्लास में आके बैठ जाते हैं बिकॉज दे कम बिफोर द टाइम ना से फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ड्यूरेशन फ्रॉम दिस पार्ट टू दिस पार्ट ओके इज टू टी This is two. Sorry, sorry. This is two T. Okay. And my optimum signal is obtaining at what interval? What is the time interval we are setting to obtain the uh, information? At what time interval we are sampling? Students, please answer this question. It is quite simple. We are sampling at T or T B by two. At what time interval we are sampling? Excuse me, ma'am. Are they hearing me? Students. T B by two. Huh? T B by two. You are audible. You are audible. देखो मैंने हिंट भी आपको हम हमेशा सैंपलिंग कौन से रेट पे करते हैं कौन से टाइमिंग इंटरवल पे करते हैं हम जनरली कौन से टाइम इंटरवल पे लेते हैं सैंपलिंग इंटरवल स्मॉल टी और कैपिटल टी यस Come on, students. Please answer fast. This yes, Ritesh. Ritesh, can you give answer? It is on. Okay, capital T. Yes, exactly. Good. Thank you so much, dear. Okay. So here we are sampling at the time interval t. So obviously we are going to have our optimal. Sample or optimum sample. Optimum is what? Optimal solution will say no. Best sample, best solution like that. Okay. So this is the best sample we can take. Now early sample means which is lying between zero to t. पहले आके बैठ जाता है वो. Okay. जैसे के t minus delta of t early. Okay. And then we have a signal which is sampling at the peak. Okay. But it is coming late. तो टाइम के बाद आया है वो तो टी प्लस डेल्टा टी राइट सो अर्ली सैंपल व्हिच इज अकरिंग बिफोर द ऑप्टिमल सैंपल बिफोर द टाइम इंटरवल टी इज कॉल्ड एज अर्ली सैंपल ओके एंड द सैंपल व्हिच इज अकरिंग लेट ओके आफ्टर द टाइम सैंपलिंग टी दैट सैंपल इज कॉल्ड एज अर्ली सैंपल एंड इट हैज अ टाइम पीरियड ऑफ टी प्लस डेल्टा टी ओके Now, what is going to happen here? When we talk about this information, we simply say that if uh, we are considering your um, what do you call, um, uh, say for example, the values. Okay, in presence of noise, what happens is. the identification of the peak value of the signal is generally difficult okay whenever there is noise if we want to identify the peak of the signal means it will be difficult so what we do instead of sampling the signal at the peak instead of sampling the signal at the peak we are uh, we are trying to sample it at early and we are going to sample it at late point okay and the absolute values of the early samples and the late values of the what you call uh, uh, sorry absolute values of the late samples will be smaller okay it will be smaller than the peak values matlab agar hum iska absolute value nikalenge iska amplitude nikalenge to kya hoga wo hamesha hamare peak sample se kam rahega okay hamari peak sample se kam rahega so peak sample se agar kam rahega to hum it will be easy okay or we will simply say that the absolute values of this early sample and late sample are same they are equal okay both are symmetric 
symmetric means having similar characteristics right and then when both are symmetric whatever is the midpoint that midpoint will help us or it will form the basis to form the synchronization value or synchronization time interval so what are we doing here here we are properly here properly filtered digital signal has peaks at optimum sampling time and that the signal is reasonably symmetric either on both sides so simply we can say the absolute value of the early signal and the absolute value of the late signal are similar or equal you can see here sync signals exactly at the optimum signal instant so this is what we have done over here this is your optimal signal sample this is early sample and this is your late sample okay here you are having a early delay and here you are having a late delay so simply this both the values y of tk minus delta and y of tk plus delta both are smaller compared to the magnitude of your given signal which is being sampled at the time interval t so what is tk it is the optimum sampling instant and you can see that the value of delta is always less than tv by t now moving ahead moving ahead we have early sync and late sync now early sync kab hota hai matlab hamara message uh, receiver uh, transmitter signal ke sath early mein kaise sync hota hai condition kya hai early ki in synchronization with respect to the early part we see that the value this both the estimation value should be equal right iska value aur iska value same hona chahiye tha agar iske hisab se dekhenge to hame isko yahan hona chahiye tha right so iske hisab se agar dekhenge to iska value actually yahan hona chahiye tha ye ye wala part okay lekin kya ho raha hai wo it is not thinking at this particular moment uh, at this particular amplitude value rather it is being synced early at this particular y of t value okay and we see that my optimum sample and my late sample both are getting synchronized right sorry both are having the same amplitude which is not actually supposed to happen so that is why we call it as a early sync or simply with respect to equation you can remember that y of tk plus delta okay is greater than y of tk minus delta then in that case we will say the signal is synchronizing at the early point okay and then in the late synchronization we see that the situation okay the situation of sampling it occurs in such a way that y of or the magnitude okay magnitude of the late sample is less than the magnitude of the early sample see this value and see this value this is high so to say plus plus this plus then we will say the information is sinking late all right so i hope you the concept of your um, early and late synchronization is understood okay now next moving to your block diagram of early and late bit synchronizer what is happening here okay now look at this block diagram you have a uh, what is called a receiver signal y of t always remember y of t when we refer we are talking about the receiver signal x of t we are talking about the input signal okay now this y of t is applied to two sample and hold circuits we have here one sample and hold circuit here we have another sample and hold circuit okay and then the sampling signals of these sample and hold circuits are obtained from the two delay producing blocks okay we have a delay block okay this is this delay blocks are controlling the sample and hold output 
okay and how this two delay blocks this delay block is cb plus delta and this delay blo block is cb minus delta fine and actually these the delay boxes are actually controlled by what vcc that is not a, uh, what you call your uh, power supply voltage control clock okay now the input signal is sampled early okay uh, early sampling ke liye hum kaun sa delay use karenge tb plus delta use karenge kya tb minus delta use karenge jaldi bataiye early ke liye देखो हमारे पास ड्यूरेशन क्या था टी माइनस डेल्टा टी एक वैल्यू थी और टी प्लस डेल्टा टी एक वैल्यू थी और ये कैपिटल टी यहाँ तो हमारा ऑप्टिमम सैंपल है राइट तो ये कौन सा सैंपल है ये लेट वाला सैंपल है करेक्ट और ये वाला ये ड्यूरेशन पे वाला सैंपल है करेक्ट ओके तो अब मेरा क्वेश्चन ये है कि जब आप सैंपल एंड होल्ड को टी बी माइनस डेल्टा दे रहे हैं तो कौन सा वैल्यू सिंक होगा पहले कौन सा सैंपल सिंक होगा ये अपर सैंपल सिंक होगा या लोअर सैंपल सिंक होगा एंड इसको हम कौन सा सैंपल बोलेंगे अर्ली सैंपल बोलेंगे ऑप्टिमल सैंपल बोलेंगे कि लेट सैंपल बोलेंगे स्टूडेंट What happened? Everybody is sleeping. Yes. Give response, students. Are they? Which one? Are you students? Students, why are you not responding today? Huh? Yesterday you were so active. Please give the answers to the questions. Let me be the right to give. Yeah. जस्ट खाली ट्वेंटी मिनट आपको समझ नहीं आ रहा तो बोलो मैं इधर ही स्टॉप करके आपको और एक बार से बताऊंगी लेकिन आप प्लीज मुझे आंसर करो पुट इन द चैट बॉक्स आंसर्स प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ एंड गिव द आंसर्स यस प्लीज अनम्यूट बिकॉज आई एम शेयरिंग द स्क्रीन आई वॉन्ट बी एबल टू सी दैट बॉक्स स्टूडेंट ओके एस वाई बी रोल नंबर चलो बस मुझे इतना बता दो कि टी बी बाई डेल्टा टी बी माइनस डेल्टा ये कौन सा सैंपल लेगा अर्ली अर्ली यस और टी बी प्लस डेल्टा लेट हाँ लेट बस उतना ही मुझे बताना था ना आप लोग क्यों इतना देर किए सो रहे थे क्या नहीं मैम अभी चाय का टाइम भी नहीं है ग्यारह बजे है नाश्ते का टाइम है ओके एनी शॉर्ट ब्रेक का टाइम है छोड़ो जल्दी जल्दी फिनिश कर लेते हैं ओके Uh, all right. So here, what is happening? The input signal y of t is sampled early at a t k minus delta. Okay, by the lower sampling sample and hold circuit. Okay, this is the lower sampling and uh, sample and hold circuit, and the late uh, what do you call uh, sample is being controlled by your upper sample and hold circuit. So you are going to have two sample and hold circuit. upper and the lower so this is your lower sample circuit and this is your upper sample circuit and these delays are controlled by the voltage control clock okay so here what is happening we are seeing that these sampled values okay whatever samples you are using these sampled values are rectified okay we are passing them through a rectifier circuit after passing them through rectifier circuit what are we doing here we are subtracting the output of these we are going to subtract okay from each other why we are subtracting we are subtracting from each other to produce certain voltage okay and that voltage is being given to your voltage clock sorry voltage control clock so here when we see that when the sampling is going to take place exactly at the optimal sampling time means exactly at this time interval t 
we see that the value of okay the value of this one and this one is going to be equal and jab in dono ka value equal hota hai to ye voltage kya hoga plus 1 minus 1 kya hoga what it will be zero yes zero so my voltage will become zero here okay so what is happening the output of the voltage control will remain constant or unchanged and the bit synchronization is then have to be achieved so simply we can say that if you want the synchronization to happen we need to maintain the voltage to zero or we need to bring our uh, this uh, what you call sample values to the zero okay now say for example if bit synchronization nahi ho raha hai early synchronization ho raha hai early bit synchronize ho raha hai to early bit synchronize ho raha hai to kya hona chahiye जब ये दोनों वैल्यूज हम सब करते हैं तो इसका वैल्यू हमको लेस देन जीरो आना चाहिए ओके दिस माइनस आई मीन दिस अपर सैंपल होल्ड सर्किट आउटपुट माइनस लोअर सैंपल होल्ड सर्किट आउटपुट सॉरी लोअर सैंपल होल्ड सर्किट आउटपुट माइनस अपर होल्ड सर्किट आउटपुट शुड बी लेस देन जीरो देन वी विल से द बिट इज सिंक्रोनाइज अर्ली ओके माइनस माइनस डेल्टा ओके दिस माइनस दिस आई मीन इन दोनों का अगर लेस देन जीरो आता है तो हम कहेंगे कि हमारा सिंक्रोनाइज अर्ली बिट टाइप का है ठीक है और अगर ये इक्वेशन का वैल्यू ग्रेटर देन जीरो है तो हम बोलेंगे कि वो लेट बिट हो रहा है ओके लेट लेट सिंक्रोनाइज हो रहा है और अगर इन दोनों का डिफरेंस हमको जीरो मिलता है तो हम बोलेंगे कि ये ऑप्टिमल है ओके इट इज एन ऑप्टिमल पार्ट क्लियर है ओके दिस इज द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ द अर्ली एंड लेट बिट सिंक्रोनाइज सो दिस इज वन मेथड नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट द नेक्स्ट मेथड सो व्हाट इज हैपनिंग हियर हियर इन द सेम सिंक्रोनाइजेशन वी सी दैट द डिजिटल receiver is going to make actually decision in terms of logic 1 or logic 0 we agree that yes the decision is made in terms of logic 1 or logic 0 so based on that what we are doing in order to produce or in order to determine or like you know decide whether it is logic 1 or logic 0 we actually produce an appropriate output voltage so if you want to produce an appropriate output voltage then you must know the voltage at the input yes what is the voltage at the input of the received signal okay so if you know the input of the vol uh, uh, sorry uh, voltage at the input level then you will come to know whether the signal is the received signal i mean uh, sorry the signal what you receive is a message signal or is the noise signal correct agar uh, say for example humko input voltage नहीं पता है मतलब अप्रोप्रिएट आउटपुट वोल्टेज हम प्रोड्यूस नहीं कर पा रहे हैं तो हमको वैल्यू नहीं पता है इनपुट वोल्टेज की तो क्या होगा हम उसको कंसिडर करेंगे कि वो नॉइज होगी तो नंबर ऑफ बिट्स जो है हमारे जो मैसेज सिग्नल के बिट्स हैं वन 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 जीरो ओके वॉट इट विल गिव इज इट विल प्रोवाइड यू द रैंडम आउटपुट बिट एज पर इनपुट नॉइज तो अगर इनपुट में नॉइज है साथ में तो हमको आना था 1101 हमारे आउटपुट में लेकिन वो रैंडमली देगा वो ऐसे दे सकता है इस फैशन में भी दे सकता है रैंडमली कौन सा भी बिट ये एम पहले दे सकता एम वन पहले दे सकता है एम टू है ना लास्ट में दे सकता है ये वैल्यू यहाँ जाके बैठ जाएगा ये वैल्यू यहाँ जाके बैठ जाएगा अगर नॉइज रहेगा तो ओके रीजन ओवरलैपिंग विल बी दे ओके सो वट वी आर गोइंग टू डू टू ओवरकम दिस इशू we need to identify what is the start of the message okay start of the message means we should know what is the input value of the voltage sorry uh, yes input value of the voltage we should know and we have to identify what are the frames and the subdivisions within the message okay within the message we should identify the frames 
see yesterday i was telling uh, we are sending some bit sequences okay we have an n bit message okay this n bit sequence is there jo bhi hamara message signal hai na hum usko sequence bolte hain theek hai n bit sequence and in that n bit sequence abhi yahan pe suppose uh, kuch to 8 messages hain samjho 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 तो अब एन बिट सीक्वेंस में अगर पांच जा रहे हैं तो ये पांच क्या हुआ वो टाइम ड्यूरेशन में पांच ट्रैवल कर रहे हैं तो हम बोलेंगे कि के बिट्स ऑफ द एन बिट्स आर ट्रांसफरिंग सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज रेट ऑफ बिट बीइंग ट्रांसफर्ड इन द सीक्वेंस एट अ गिवन टाइम ओके सो we need to identify those frames all right and what we are going to do we are going to facilitate the frame synchronization okay we are going to facilitate the frame synchronization with the representation or the binary transmission which include n bit synchronization words okay and initially what we do we prefix a context okay a prefix is there which consists of several repeat repetition synchronous words see these uh words are similar okay which marks the beginning of the transmission agar ek starting ke hai na bits agar similar rahe to samajh jao ki ye hai na abhi iske baad ye jo hai iske ye khatam hone ke baad hi hamara message start hone wala hai to starting ka jo frame hai ye n bit hai na yahan pe 8 hai yahan pe 8 hai yahan pe 8 hai okay and these all values are similar means understand all values are similar means all are 110111110111 like that if it is there means you understand that as soon as this prefix is ending the prefix is ending prefix means something which we are putting before right so this is the beginning of the prefix this is the end of the prefix end of the prefix is the start of the message right so here we can simply say that it marks the beginning okay it marks the beginning of the transmission and it allows the time okay it allows time for bit acquisition okay bit sync acquisition bit sync acquisition means retrieving the information so after the prefix it follows different code words okay which indicates the start of the message so here now code is not same it can be 8 bit or it can be 9 bit or 10 bit of sequence but the codes are not this one the codes are not this one they can be different okay and this itself indicates the start of the message and then frames are labeled by inserting the sync words periodically in the bit stream we are going to give it periodically okay and uh, i think this part you have uh, already maybe discussed in the uh, pulse amplitude modulation the tdm system and the pulse code modulation the what you call your uh, tdm system okay so this is how we are going to work here then the last part which you are going to see is the costas loop for carrier synchronization or a carrier uh, what you call recovery circuit how are you going to recover it okay so here the costas loop okay this block diagram what you are seeing is actually the costas loop for the carrier uh, synchronization carrier synchronization what we are doing carrier synchronization frequency frequency of the carrier okay that we are noting down and here it is in terms of phase okay so the costas loop is used for carrier synchronization in bpsk receiver okay in the bpsk receiver you remember what is the bpsk receiver going to have for logic 0 and logic 1 yes can anybody tell bpsk receiver binary phase shift king bpsk is 
if you have logic one or symbol one okay we have positive voltage okay and we have zero degree phase shift right zero degree phase shift and if we have logic zero or symbol zero we have zero voltage yes no we don't have zero voltage we have negative voltage and the phase shift is 180 degree So here we are basically using for BPSK receiver this particular circuit. So let us understand the uh, working or the function of this particular circuit. So what do we observe here in the circuit? It is having two phase comparator that is comparator one and comparator two. So here it is uh, further connected. One of the comparator one is connected with the voltage control what you call your oscillator it is having a phase shift of 90 degree one is without phase shift and another one is with phase shift okay with plus 90 and here we see that the voltage control oscillator circuit okay or voltage control not oscillator circuit voltage control oscillator is providing what it is providing or generating a frequency carrier frequency fc which is producing a carrier frequency fc with an arbitrary phase angle of theta so what is the phase here the phase angle is theta of a carrier signal and this carrier signal is applied to both comparator one and comparator two to the comparator one it is applied with a phase shift of 90 degree and here it is applied directly in the comparator two so this both the comparators, okay, this both the comparators, they are receiving a BPSK input signal, okay. And what is the BPSK input signal? The BPSK input signal is given by root of, under root of 2PS cos of omega C plus C, okay. Then what is going to happen at the output? The output of the comparator 1, the output of the comparator 1 is given by what? this and this part has to be multiplied right this is our input and this is our phase shift yes we are going to get the multiplication of these two points chalo hum isko a1 karke le lete hain theek hai aur isko a2 karke le lete hain aur iska kuch aise hai nahi so we will say this as a3 okay so when i say a2 a2 is equal to cos of omega c plus theta naught. Okay. And A1 is equal to under root of Ps. Just one minute, students. Hello. Hello. 
हेलो हाँ राहुल सर हेलो कंपेरेटर से दिस इज इक्वल टू ए वन ओके and this is equal to a2 which one this equation and this is equal to a3 so here what we are going to have at the output of the uh, what you call phase comparator one okay we are going to have the output at a1 into a2 right ए वन इंटू ए टू तो अब ए वन की जगह ये वैल्यू सब्सटीट्यूट करो और ए टू की जगह ये वैल्यू सब्सटीट्यूट करना तो ये क्या हो गया अंडर रूट ऑफ टू पी एस इंटू कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी टी प्लस फाइव एंड इंटू कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी टी प्लस सॉरी टीटा करेक्ट सो नाउ दिस इज योर कॉस ए प्लस सॉरी कॉस ए इंटू कॉस बी फॉर्मूला देन यू सिंप्लीफाई इट यू विल गेट द आउटपुट ओके आई मीन अब एक इक्वेशन यू गेट इट देन what is going to happen we are using a low pass filter here okay actually this output should be here sorry this output should be here hmm. we are using a low pass filter so in this low pass filter what will happen this low pass filter will eliminate the second harmonic second harmonic term means uh, like second part of your signal we have multiple terms coming out now when we say cos a into cos of b will give you cos of a plus b into cos of a minus b that formula you have right according to that so the second part will be eliminated by the low pass filter because you are going to have this what low pass filter refers to what cutting of this type of frequencies higher yeah. frequency yes which is not required correct that is it then similarly you come to the uh, you know this part here you are going to have a product of a1 and a3 okay now a1 and a3 means this is cos a into sin b yes yes or no then again simplify it okay fine i'm just coming one minute huh? say him i'm coming so again here we have attenuation of the signal fine like this the what you call the harmonics which are not required they are filtered out and then that uh, what you call your uh, first terms are going to again multiply here and given to the and that that is going to act as vc and again it is further filtered and is uh, giving as an input to the voltage control oscillator part okay so simply we can say that this voltage control oscillator part when we simplify all these equations you know we see that it is proportional to the phase difference phi minus theta phase difference of phi minus theta okay so it is actually between the received carrier and the carrier generated by the vco so this is the received carrier part okay this one received carrier part that is phi and the voltage control oscillator difference between these two okay so this is how the carrier synchronization is done in the coarse cast loop okay so this is all about your uh, what you call uh, the unit 5 where we dealt with the optimal receiver circuit for uh, digital modulation okay so if you have any uh, clarifications you can ask yes yes students okay students can you clearly please ask ma'am so you what why is this breaking sir hello yes sir am audible clearly yes sir please हाँ सर 
So all students are requested to ask any doubt, any question uh, regarding the optimum receiver. Ma'am is waiting for you. Students, I give you two minutes to think because now I'm going to ask you questions. Okay, you're going to answer me. Just two minutes. Refresh what all I have taught you. Fine. 11.23 it is. 11.20 I'll be asking the questions. And everybody have to be alert. And again, you're going to raise your hands. Okay. Please recall the things. What our madam has told. Yes, uh, students. Okay, it's eleven twenty-five. So I'll be asking you the questions now. Please answer it. Uh, how many uh, synchronization techniques uh, types we have? Yes. What are the different types of synchronization? Students, please answer. Symbol, frame, and carrier. Uh, symbol synchronization, frame, and carrier synchronization. Okay, good. Uh, uh, fine. All right. Then the next question is, what is inter-symbol interference? Whenever the symbols gets overlapped, uh, that is the error caused in at the receiver. It is known as inter-symbol interference. Hmm. Yes, correct. Okay. Then what is carrier reco recovery or carrier synchronization? Only Avinash is going to answer, I guess. Avinash, uh, please allow other your uh, your other friends also to answer. If they don't, then you can help them by answering. The estimation of carrier frequency and trace at receiver is called as carrier recovery. Yes. It is estimation of the carrier frequency and phase at the receiver is called as carrier recovery or carrier synchronization. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Then next question is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, what is the condition to have a optimal signal? What is the condition to have a optimal signal? Yes. What should happen? The magnitude of the early sample and the magnitude of the late sample should be equal. Then we are going to have the optimal signal. Or simply we can say the uh, method signal should be sampled at a time interval T. Okay. So that is there. 
fine so all right only few students have answered the rest of us i think they are enjoying the holiday not a problem students i appreciate that on a holiday time also you have given your time for studies uh, good and uh, you all are present over here i am really happy and uh, with this i would like to conclude the session here and i thank the uh, sri ri college team and uh, neeta ma'am and uh, hod uh, for giving me this opportunity to deliver my uh, like my part of knowledge what i had to share this knowledge with you all uh, thank you so much uh, i'm really glad that uh, you people have considered me as a part of you thank you so much ma'am thank you so much sir and thank you so much students thank you ma'am uh, now i am here for uh, what of thanks uh, kulkarni ma'am are in meeting uh, no no uh, you can yes yes ma'am yes ma'am problem okay uh, i will talk later you can okay. um thank you for uh, giving me chance to give what of thanks uh i am very much uh, thankful to uh, dr fatima ma'am uh, to guide us our student in two days and give uh, more uh, efficient information uh, towards our students then i am very much thankful to, uh, thankful for the, our hods uh, dr mm power ma'am and as well as in charge hod of our department uh, sai na uh, sujit anand sir as well as coordinator of our subject kulkarni ma'am and at the last but not least all students participated over here thank you thank you thank you so much yes ma'am over to you yeah okay ma'am uh, thank you sir okay uh, ma'am uh, as i told at the end we'll be taking a selfie so ah, you yes. please turn on your camera ah yes yes madam no problem uh, just one minute i will request the students okay all the students uh, uh, please turn on your camera as per the demand from uh, madam because uh, uh, yes, Uh, give the response to this on uh, chat box. Ha uh ha. -huh. Okay okay. The okay. conversation. Okay. Uh -huh. So please uh, give your feedbacks in the chat box, students, and also make your camera on. And if you have any doubt, ask. Yeah, I'm thankful to you, Madam, for the. Ha. Uh -huh. So I'm thankful to you for. Uh, presentation and uh, delivering the lecture for uh, two days to our students uh, even though you were new but uh, we didn't feel like uh, okay yes so we thought okay. as you as if uh, part of our system and we expect the same cooperation from you in the future if we need or if uh, we get some opportunity hopefully, hopefully. even for i am also sorry uh, like uh -huh. today uh -huh. uh, we will invite you madam मैडमेशन Okay, I am facing some range issues, so I am not audible. Am I audible, uh, Rahul sir? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Uh, please ask the students to make their camera on. Mm. Just for All one minute. All students are requested to make camera on. Madam, I have to share, um, take a screenshot. Please check the gallery. Mommy, 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 the card. Yeah. Uh, Turn on your camera. I told you that I will be. Uh, no, please make your camera on, students. <laughs> Okay uh, please make your camera on students
Uh, madam, some students have facing some issues of internet connectivity. Uh, yes, that may be there, but at least those who are able to uh, make it on, please make it on. Okay, madam is also, she might be also having other works, no? Please uh, respond. Yes. They might be hesitating, madam. I don't know why. Uh, because of his child. Uh, no problem, ma'am. Uh, as as number of participants are more, no, that... yes, yes. we understand it's a whole, like you know holiday time and you. Ah uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, it is happening. That's why I have given one hour to them, uh, but still uh, uh, they may not be able. Sharing. Hi, uh, yes, madam. Ma'am, uh, okay, good. Oh, nice. Fine. I'm happy to see you all, students. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, madam. So, uh, as the number of students are more, no, they might be facing issues for making their camera on. Yes, yes, uh, let it be, madam. I apologize for that. Okay, so hello. Uh, at least we can take screenshot. Rahul sir, can you ah, yes, at least make your camera on? Uh, we will take uh, screenshot with madam. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. You are taking screenshots, no? Okay, have you taken? At least three, four students as a representative, they can turn on their camera. CR. Okay, madam. And uh, related to that test you were uh, saying, no? Uh, so you can uh, send that link to me later. I will share it with students. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi, yes, sir. Am I audible? Yes, yes, ma'am. Okay. So, uh, shall we stop, madam? Uh, ma'am. Uh, okay. Um, Dear student, ma uh, please share the pictures with me and the students will be sending some multiple choice questions related to this unit. Uh, by tomorrow evening, okay. So you am and uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, can I leave students? You have to ask uh, Okay, okay, madam. Yes, yes. Okay, we will stop here. Thank you uh, for kind support and cooperation and being attentive in class. Yes, yes, yes madam. Uh, it's our pleasure. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yes, ma'am. I'm listening. Okay. Can I leave? Okay, okay, sir. Okay, madam. Thank you. Students, please, uh, uh, madam, you can leave, please. Hmm? Uh, students, you be in the meeting for two minutes. Yes, sir. <laughs> students don't have, haven't given the response in the chat box, ma'am. Kulkarni, ma'am. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, still, student haven't give response to the chat box. A few students. Okay, okay. Give response to the chat box. Uh, give uh, some students have given, madam. Hmm, yes. Uh, take a screenshot, madam. Okay, okay. I will take. Uh, Just wait one minute. I thought you have taken or what? No. I have taken, but uh, you also take, ma'am. Okay. Just one minute, uh, sir. Yes, all of you give this feedback. Only two students have given feedback. No, no. Uh, for uh, more responses okay. are there. Sorry, in the chat box. Yes, yes, have yes. given eight nine students. Hmm? They have given the response. So I will take the screenshot on mobile also. Just one minute. Yes. And students, why you are not turned on your camera? Uh, in spite of these many requests from other person. Is it good or bad?
even though you have not given the response also. No, no. Actually, uh, no, no. Actually, what happened, sir? Yesterday hmm. they were very active. Yes, yes. Just one minute. I will take screenshot. Okay. SYB students give response first. Only SYB students have given response from B division. Okay, no, no. I, okay, actually, yesterday only my on phone call, madam was discussing, and she has appreciated the students, their responses, their answers. And today only what happened, I don't know. Okay, that is also okay if you are. On yesterday, there is another. Uh, what was the problem in turning on camera for one minute? If some uh, such much uh, means experienced person is requesting you mm -hmm. for making the camera on just for the uh, as a memory to make it on for taking screenshot. Hmm?